Metro Trains and the state opposition are involved in a political war of words over proposals for armed guards on Melbourne train stations. The company's chief says it needs more staff, not guns, sparking claims of a backflip. The Premier swapped a chauffeur-driven government car for a train ride to North Melbourne to announce 265 more weekly services on the Werribee, Sydenham and Craigieburn lines. Generally pretty heavy. Generally pretty heavy and uh, good service and keep the good work going. But a major political row erupted over the Metro Rail Chief, Andrew Lazala, suddenly attacking the opposition's key policy of having two armed protective services officers at every station after dark. I guess I've just got an aversion to having a lot of people with guns on the railway. Strangely, though, he supports more sworn police on the system and wants hundreds more in-house trained authorised officers, but not police academy trained officers, trusted to guard Parliament, the courts and the shrine. If we could get four or five hundred more people, that would be excellent. An angry opposition says Mr Lazala has backflipped just a few months from the election and could refuse to work with him in government. I expect if I sit across a table, I get an undertaking, that undertaking is kept. The Public Transport Users Association has come out in support of the government's position, saying having protective services officers at all stations at night would be overkill. I think there's a better use of the staff and a better use of the funding that is behind that initiative. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.